We pay them as taxpayers to give us their frank assessment of the situation in the countries uh, where they are serving, uh, which is what our ambassador in Washington was doing. Um, but it's a personal view, and uh, there'll be many people in this building who don't agree with that view. And indeed, I don't agree with some of the views that we saw in those letters. I've said I think that um, the US administration is highly effective and we have the warmest of relationships and a partnership based on standing up for shared values. So I think it's very important that our ambassadors and high commissioners around the world continue to feel that they are able to express those frank views because we have one of the best diplomatic networks in the world and the foundation of that is the free exchange of information and opinions and the understanding that we're not always going to agree with each other but we want to know what people around the world are thinking. We need to find out how it happened, not least to give confidence to our teams all over the world that they can continue to give us their frank assessment. So that's why we're going to have a leak inquiry. I hope we get to the bottom of it and of course there'll be very serious consequences uh, if and when we find out who's responsible. What we will not allow to happen is any interruption in uh, the superb relationship that we have with the United States, which is our closest ally around the world.